Hello, my friends. Welcome to our class with Miss Menchies. Today, we are talking about our next project, which is textured plants. And I know we've been talking a lot about texture already. So the definition is the way something feels or looks. So we've mentioned this before, but now we're learning about implied texture. And this is a little bit different because this is what we are actually going to accomplish in this project. You will be drawing what you think a certain texture looks like. So implied texture is actually flat. It's 2D but it looks like you can feel it. Here's a great example of the two. Texture itself on this asparagus fern almost looks bumpy and smooth, maybe a little bit soft. But when you look at the images on the right hand side of the drawn asparagus ferns, you see that they used different strokes and different drawing techniques to create an implied texture. So even though we know this is a drawing, it still looks like you can feel it and looks very similar to the actual drawings. Here I've included a video introduction about different plants in my house. So I gave you a plant tour and I talked about all different plants and their textures and you can watch this on your own time. We're not going to watch this right now. I'm going to share this PowerPoint with you and you can go ahead and play that video and take a look at all those fun plants that I have. But now to our actual project. Today we're making textured plants! Now here's the thing, you can decide if you want to make plants in a pot, so like a flower pot but with all different plants in it, or make just flowers. You have this option, and I gave you a picture of two examples. So the first example is of the flowers, and you can see that there's different textures inside each of the flower part, or the flower heads. And sometimes the stems have a little bit of texture to them, so it's up to you if you wanted to stick with just flowers. If you're thinking of going to draw a flower pot or a plant pot, you want to think about the different types of plants you would put in there and what textures you can bring to it. This is a picture of cacti, and you can see that each one has a different texture applied to the surface. Now here it may look like a lot of words, but don't get nervous. This is just a bunch of different words that describe textures of plants. So if I take a quick look through, I see bouncy, cottony, jagged, thorny. These are all words that you can use to help you think of ideas on how to apply texture to your picture. Remember, we're working with implied texture, so we're not actually adding the texture. We just have to think what it would look like if you were drawing that texture. And here is our final slide. It's an example of all different textures drawn on paper. And if you take a quick look, you'll see that there's all different examples of textures that you could find in nature and just in general. And you can use these to help you come up with your own ways of creating that implied texture. For example, if you look at the grass, which some of you might include in your picture, it looks like it's short little V's, a little sharp at the edge, and they have a little bit of shading at the tip. So you can go ahead and mimic that in your own drawing. If you take a look at the squares, there's also labels underneath that give you some idea of that texture that is being explained in that image. Now it's time for you to create. You can choose if you want to do your flowers or if you do a plant in a pot. If you have any questions, please let me know and I look forward to seeing your texture plants.